Hello, I'm Gwendolyn. Welcome to Honeybee's Hive. I am a special guest of Honeybee and I will be assisting her today. Hi. <laughs> so today I have a I have a new baby, guys. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'll grab my scissors over here because I am super excited about this one. This one is coming in from Oh. Welcome to Honeybee's Hive. I'm Honeybee. Yeah. You guys met Gwendolyn <laughs> and she also. So, anywho, I have a special baby, a special baby. I've been waiting on her to get here. Super excited. I've been talking to you guys um, in the comments about her too, that I've been waiting on her to get here. So she is finally here and I am super excited. So what I'm going to do is of course bring you closer so that you can see who I have here. And um, we're we're definitely going to be putting her together. Now I'm hoping and I am praying that everything is right in here. And I don't have to send it back or anything like that. I'm hoping that I get to that it is to my satisfaction. So let's get in here. It tells you right here on the bag actually what it is. I ordered her from Ally Express. Um, I mean... If you've been if you've been listening to the comments on the comments on ah on some of my oh, oh, blah, blah 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 okay if you haven't listened to any of the comments and you'll know who this is but I don't want to say who it is until I actually open her up but I'm excited so um, come in a little closer and let's get in here okay I think this is a pretty good angle so I'm gonna go ahead and start opening her up. Like I said, I'm really excited about this one. Um, I first saw her on another YouTuber's page. And I was like, I got to have her. So, I got her. Oh. Now, I like to get the ones that I put together myself. Um, and the reason why is because... I'm going to take, depending on the doll, well, more likely I'm going to take, I'm, I end up taking them apart anyway. Especially this one that I really do want. I'm going to take it apart and re put it back together again. So this way, I skip the middle part of having to take out the, um, the polyfill. And I can just go straight to fixing her up like I want to, instead of having to take out so much stuff so I am so they got her securely wrapped up um, I did order her from NPK so as you see they sent her in this bubble so she is very secure oops I think I popped the bubble I was trying to cut the tape and I heard the <laughs> I heard the, one of the bubble things pop I do appreciate them doing this. This is so much better than you getting your baby and the head is squished. Or, you know, the limbs are bent. So I do like this. So this is what they've done. They've encased her in this bubble. So we're going to pull her out. Now, I ordered regular size, so let's hope that they gave me of the regular size, baby. I'll start taking her out. So, here's her head. Okay. You can see by her head, you probably already know who she is. This is her little legs and arms. She's a thick one. It comes with a body. It's a pretty big body. So, it's a bigger baby. And it comes with zip ties. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight zip ties. So uh, one, two, three, four, five. With three left over for mistakes. Body. And then she also comes with a pacifier. So I'm assuming. I don't know if there's a magnet in there or not, but. Oh, you know what? Nope, the magnet's right here. So it looks like the magnet is here. So you have to put the magnet magnet in yourself. So it comes with a very strong magnet and a pacifier. Okay. So I'm gonna put these scissors up. And go ahead and get in here. I'm gonna take a look and see what you see. I'm also going to get my coffee too because I was making some coffee and I just realized my coffee's not over here with me and I want my coffee. So let me go over here and get a, a bottle of bottle Lord. Let me go to my cup of coffee. So the camera a bit so you can get a better view. So here we are. Here's one leg. That's one leg. A little some blushing on it. So the toes are tipped and glossed. Same with this leg. And <laughs> those are precious. Look at those little fat arms. <laughs> oh, this is precious. Oh my goodness. Look at this little hand. <laughs> uh, same thing. Um, blushed. And nails are glossed and tip. <laughs> Those are precious. And here's her little head. She's so far. I so you see how if you guys open up some of these with me before, you saw how the head was matched up and stuff, and the limbs were squished. This is so much better. My limbs aren't squished. I don't have to do the stuff in it trying to fix the um, the deformity of a limb or something. This is great. Oh, she's so precious. Looky there. So this little one here. Oh, she comes with this pretty soft hair. Oh my goodness. This hair is really soft. I love that little fat face. So like I said, I had to have my own. So what I'm going to go do now, I want to see what it is that I need. I am definitely about to put her together. Um, she comes with eyelashes already. So I am not going to mess with them. They are already rooted. I am happy about that. So as you can see her eyelashes are root eyelashes are rooted. So no need to do anything about that. Um see her lips are, are lightly painted and she, she got a little gloss in her nose it's as cute as can be oh my goodness she is adorable look at this a cute hair and she's got some veins up here now we're probably gonna Some of it's shedding, but that's okay. I'm probably going to go in and um, trim up her bangs. But other than that, so far she's just a cutie poo. A little fat face. Yeah, I think she's just going to be a cute baby to have. Okay, so let's go ahead and get her... Um, go and get her stuff so that I can... I can stuff her and put her body on and her hair has been sealed as that glue sound you hear but yeah I'm thinking um, I'm trying to just I'm trying to determine what size clothes she is so I can go up there and grab a diaper and everything too all at one time I don't know you guys you guys want to travel upstairs to the um, 
to the playroom and that way my workroom too and we can just put it together up there let's do that instead okay because all my stuff is upstairs so let's put her together up there in the workroom okay all right guys i'm back <sighs> so all i did was came upstairs so i can put her together well <laughs> i have slept <laughs> since um <laughs> i just did the intro <laughs> and um it is a whole nother day <laughs> go figure huh it took me a long time to get up here didn't it okay so but i'm up here and earlier today i went ahead and put these and made these little um little um little weights for the body so i made two of them for her body um all i did was sold a couple sold um cloth together and then put the the um the micro beads in here that's all i did so i'm going to start putting her together um and this is my says dark skin pickle okay so like i said she already has um rooted eyelashes so i'm not going to bother with that i'm going to fill her limbs with poly pellets um like this one's empty so i need to go in the trash Anywho, open up another bag of poly pellets. Oh, once I figure out how to open up this bag. But I think she's cute, guys. For what it's worth. For a manufactured doll, I think she's cute. So, oh my, so these are <laughs> small here. <laughs> I just looked in there and saw how small they were. So, I'm going to open them up just a little bit. I have a um, the Elizabeth and Evelyn who I'm working on. So I'm trying not to make a mess over here behind me. That would be not good, right? Uh, knock anything over. So what I'm doing right now is I'm took an exacto knife and I am making this hole a little bit bigger, taking my time because again, this is a very sharp knife and I don't want to slip and cut a finger. there so that it was really small so I just opened it up so I can pour the um, stuff in there <sighs> and this is a a personal preference you don't have to do this part but this is an option this is just other ideas you know basically when it comes to um, Reweighing and remodifying your baby. These are just ideas of what you can do. Um, it is ultimately up to you on what your preference is, how you want your baby to be, so, and what is comfortable for you. So, for me, I need a little bit more room because so I like to pour from the um, from the bag, so that's the reason why I'm making these a little bit bigger. The arms, I'm not gonna worry about it because those are small anyway, as usually are. Put that out the way. The little pitty patter feet that you hear is Riku and Mika. So. 
hook. So I'm just saying we're going to do the lambs. I'm only doing halfway, so I'm putting about that much in there, and then I'll do the rest with polyfill. Full. Um, yeah, that's about even. Maybe a tad more than that one. And I am just eyeing this. I mean, if you want to, you can you can always weigh them and make sure they're perfect. But I'm not doing that right now. Um, okay. So I can't find the funnel. So I'm going to have to... Um, I don't know. Let me see if I can make a funnel. Ew. Way too much. That's no bueno. I just okay. Ew, that's ew, that stuff smells terrible. I don't think that should be on my hands. Okay, we're gonna leave that in there and let that dry. So I put the, okay, let's hurry up and put the top on this stuff. This stuff smells toxic. So, oh. Hey, we, we, I got Riku. I got Riku, got Nick over here. See him staring at me in the doorway. Basically, all I'm doing right now is just trying to make a funnel so I can get the um, the pellets in here because it's a very small hole. Yeah. That works. Filling up fast. Okay, so I think I filled that up pretty fast there. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I had overfilled it. It's okay. Let's see if we can do a kiss kiss. Uh, some of that go over there. Okay. Oh, I gotta get rid of more. I really overfilled it. Okay, there we go. Man, I didn't overfilled it like that. It did. I got some pellets left here. Good thing I'm only having to do the pellets and not the the micro beads. That would have been a really big hassle. 
I was using the whole the the stockings, the knee highs to make the little bags, but I didn't like that it was making a mess and some of the powder from the from the um the micro beads was coming out of the stockings. So I opted for a different method and I just sold up these little squares and I think this is going to work just fine for me. All right, so now let's get some poly pellets into this arm. As soon as I said, it's just your preference on how you want to do something. It is all about, and I just put way too much in there. So you know what, this time, I'm just going to pour it back. There we go. Because I put too much in there. And still... I got more than I did in that one. So let's do the kiss method. Let's see how much did I get over there? Some, but I need a little bit more. Just a smidget. I kind of like this funnel. All right. I'm good on oh, poly pellets. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm good on poly pellets. So now I'm going to put this stuff. So since I did not, since I bought the, the baby, um, this baby that I had to put together, I already painted, uh, kit already painted, just need to put together, then I didn't have to take out any polyfill, so I didn't have any polyfill to recycle. So I'm putting in new polyfill. That's Otherwise, I will be using recycled polyfill if I had already, if it already had polyfill in it and I just needed to remove it. So, but since that was not the case, I am using brand new polyfill. This is not recycled. Straight out my box. So here's two legs, two chunky legs. Oh, this one needs more. And now for the arms. I'm fill these with polyfill too. There we go. 
So like I said, this is all according to whatever your preference is, how you want your baby to be, how full you want it to be, how heavy, how light you want it to be, you know, it's what your preference is. Um, I'm not going to put any weight in the baby's head. That is also a preference. Some people like to put weight in their baby's head. I am not um, because that is not the effect that I want. Again, it's whatever your preference is. Just because somebody else does it doesn't mean you have to do it too. You have to find what what works for you. It's there. Okay. <laughs> I got too much there, don't I? bit much there there we go the arm is full and go back and make sure I filled this one up because now I'm I have to, looking at it I'm going oh yeah I forgot I do got to push that down to make sure I get enough in there forgot about that so I think I'm good. Yeah, I think I'm good. Yeah, I think so. Okay, and after this dry, where we have the, you know, I just now looked in to make sure I had it where the mouth is. <laughs> So like, you know, I didn't really even look to make sure that I put it where the mouth is and not the nose. <laughs> yeah, that's where the mouth is. Okay, so it is dry already. So I'm going to go ahead and put the polyfill in her head. So this is going to be pretty quick, guys. All right. Put that in the head. And since our kit was very well wrapped, it did not, it was not deformed in, in any way. So that's always a plus. So I don't have to um, shape the head by placing a lot of polyfill in there and trying to shape, put it, shape the head back. So I don't have to do none of that. So I am just putting polyfill in because I want to. And I think that'll do me. I don't need no more in there. Serves its purpose. I just did it so it wouldn't be so hollow. But now I think I want a little bit more in there. Again, this is just my preference. Some people put, like to put weight in the head. Some people don't put anything in the head. Yeah. There we go. Mm. Thinking. making sure and I there she is okay so we're gonna put her body back on her the body that they sent with with her okay somehow I have lost it is this it 
Did I take it? I guess so. Oh well. I guess I did. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the legs on here. So what I'm doing, I am going to put the legs on so I have a base to start. So when I start putting the polyfill in, I don't have to worry about the polyfill coming out. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Yeah, I want it to get, I don't even know if they still have the pickle. I don't know if they're out because I want it to get one in paint. So I'm going to have to check because I really, I when I saw when she first came out, I thought she was just adorable. I can't remember who I saw had been painted and it was a... Um, what is those called? I can't remember who it was painted for, but it was beautiful. And I was like, I want to paint a pickle. And I still do. And if I can find me a kit, if they're not sold out, I don't know if they are or not. Because I have so many kits already, I have been trying not to, um, buy any more until I get these used up, painted up and out on out the door. Cause I have enough <laughs> to hold me for a while. <laughs> that I do. All right, so now I have a place to start. So I am going to this one I think I've put too tight, but we'll worry about that later. Let's get her together, and then we'll worry about if how tight it is. Okay, so this is what I was talking about when I meant that I'll, I'll, I needed a base. So, this is the base. The legs and the buhuni. The behind is my base. So then, this works for me. So I'm going to drop one in here. Oh, this is when also you'd put your scents in, your scentsy stuff, your um, your baby smells, and whatever you want your baby to smell like would go in now. I, I have my own that I create, and they also, I also sew little packets for them too, and I put them in the baby set that I make. I don't see any reason to put one in this one. So I'm not going to. There we go. I wasted more of those um, little poly pellets over here than I thought. I thought I did pretty good at not wasting so many, but it looks like I did waste quite a bit. 
I'll have to clean that up when I get done to do this. Oh, it's not a problem. So what size does this baby wear? What size do you think she wears? Because I'm going to have to go in there and find some clothes for her. There's one little hand. Let's get this other little arm on here. Put that over. And the um, the doll room is still a work in progress. I kind of, I work in here though. I do work in here. I do have it where I can come in here and work now, which is important. So I am happy about that. There we go. Hmm. Right now, I have to decide how much more I want to put in here. I think I want to put a little bit more. Distribute it right. Okay, so I'm not liking. There we go. It was bunching up. I didn't like the way it was, it was the, uh, the polyfill was bunching up. So I don't want it to bunch up. I think that's enough. Yeah, that part looks fine. I think I, well, I need some more in the arms. My arms are, are um, not holding shape. So she's a big girl, so. I need more polyfill to try to help help the body hold shape. But I don't want it to be hard either. I don't want her to, to just be overstuffed. There we go. That's what I needed. Just enough to, to give the body shape. Yep, that's what I needed. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So, I'm gonna get her head on here. Oops, did I do those wrong? I think I did. 
Yeah, I did. I put the arms. <laughs> My fault. I believe I used the wrong one, guys. I used the ones that was for the arms, for the head, for the um, the ones that was for the head, for the arms. Okay, that seems like it will work for me. Oh, not sure. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Yep, perfect. Okay, now let me cut these. sitting here just looking at me like I have wronged her in some manner <laughs> like I have just mistreated her and she is being left out of something of the fun I guess Maker, you're not missing out on anything. Goes over here. Uh -huh. Yeah. So now let's get these arms on. Mika likes to sit behind me. test and see if our um, if our glue is holding up for the um, the, the thingy this is good because she is she's got enough stuffing in where she can sit up but not too much to where she's falling over and the back of her neck says Nikki Jones did I tell y'all that I don't think I did yeah, it says Nikki Johnston. Yeah, Nikki Johnston, 2023. Oops, did I do that right? Uh, yeah, I did. Just took a little piece of that. Those things are sharp. Okay, so I am going to guess that she is probably about what... Um, what size y'all think she is? Three to six months, six to nine months. Let's go find out. I gotta go find her an outfit. Oh no. I think she is 24 inches, is that correct? So she could be a three to six. Three to six months clothing. Let's go see what I can find. She is so cute. I just love her complexion. I just love this little one. Let's see. Maybe, maybe not. I, I think I found something for her to put on. 
I got a size two and three. I'm thinking she's a three in diaper. So let's put her diaper on first. So anywho, how do you think she came out? I think she came out pretty good. And that is just, for me, it's just easier to get them um, as a painted kit. And then all I have to do is put them together because I'm going to take them apart anyway if I like the baby and, re and restuff her the way I want her or him. So... This works for me. And I got a size 3 month um, little onesie. Put her some socks on. Her little feet. And. Huh. I don't know if these fold down or not. I think they do, but I'm not certain. She got little fat feet. So cute. This sculpt is so cute. I couldn't believe they had it on um, Ally Express already. She is everywhere, actually, because I saw her on Timu. I've seen her everywhere. She is definitely popular. And I know a lot of you guys already have her as well. You have. She comes in. I've seen um, this one. I've only seen two. No, three. I've seen two, three of them. One with dark hair. One with blonde hair, and this one. Oh, she's just precious now. Look at her. She's a big girl. I thought this was going to be too big, but <laughs> it fits her. <laughs> it really does. Oh my goodness, look at her. Isn't she just precious? Oh. So, let's go ahead and... I found this dress in there to put on her. It's two pieces. This is a, um, a vintage dress. So. I figured since we we're around all the vintage babies, why not fit in and put her on a vintage dress? So. And I love this dress. It's a little purple one. I've always loved this little dress. It's a Brian. And it is just too cute. Only thing that's missing is a ruffled diaper cover. Wouldn't that be cute? If she had a ruffled diaper cover. So cute. But I don't have, I have not, those are hard to come by. <laughs> I think ruffle butts make them. And then let's fix her hair too. Since we're just, you know, doing it up. 
And let me double check and make sure I have the camera right. Here she is. <sighs> this is the cutest dress. I don't care that it's a vintage. It is adorable. Isn't it? Ah. There we go. Precious. Now, let's comb her hair. Let's see what we got. I have... Oh, I think I got... Oh, these are cute. Let's go with these. Oh, Mika. I'm not doing your hair. You don't have any hair to do. You don't have no hair for me to comb. And make little ponytails and stuff. Good, Mama. Hey, 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 hey. They're probably in here. Sorry, I'm not very talkative tonight or today. <sighs> not a whole lot going on right now. I've just been working really hard on um, Elizabeth and Evelyn. I'm working on Evelyn right now. Um, she is actually finished. Evelyn's actually finished. The only thing I need to do now is, a root, is finish rooting the eyebrows. The eyebrows and, the, um, and her hair. And then she'll be finished. So I thought I had some. I know I do. So I think that's where those little thingies went to but hey she has some on her hair so we'll just use these she has some ponytail holders on her hair so that one and this one see there we go didn't realize it until just now so is her hair a rooted in that oh, oh no I guess not I was trying to see um, how her hair is you know what I said I was going to cut the front of her hair and I still am going to cut the front of her hair the rest of her hair I am not going to bother with I'm not going to cut because it's not too long so I'm going to leave it like it is um, but I am going to cut Oh, she's so cute. I'm going to cut these bangs, though, a little bit more. So, let's do that. And, and the reason why is just because she doesn't have any rooted, rooted hair. She doesn't have any, um, any baby hair in the front. Her hairline is pretty much just straight around. It just goes straight around. So I want to try to um, take away from that and make her look more, um, more like a baby, and not like a more like a uh, yeah more like a reborn and not a doll. Um, so what I'm gonna do. It's just something simple. I am not, what I would normally do is I would probably root some more hair, some, uh, a hairline for her, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I could, but I don't want to. So I am just going to take her out some bangs for the front. And then I will come back later, and maybe if I feel like it or want to, um, root her, not root, yeah, root her a hairline. 
a better hairline. So right now, we're just going to cut these hair in the front. I'm sorry, I have to see what I'm doing or so we'll turn around. And I'm just cutting it um, I would say let me double check if it's even yeah this is perfect so it was a little long in the front so what I did was I cut it to about this length her bangs so I cut about that much off now for the rest of her hair um, we can put it up in some ponytails. Let's do that. Let's put her hair up in some ponytails, okay? What, Mika? What are you crying about? And I'm going to use the same for the front. This side, they have a part already there. So I'm just going to use that part. So it looks like they made her with a part where those two... Well, like they had her hair and those two little ponytails that they that they have for her and then they have the rest of it down I am going to pretty much copy that except I'm going to put put it up in three instead of two so I need a third one don't I I don't have a third one There we go. I'm going to grab. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this one. Back. Oh. I'm going to use these. anything special something simple with her little hair <laughs> there we go let's see how it's gonna do okay okay that does good one now let's do this one and so I keep it pretty much the same. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, I'm not the greatest at combing hair. That's why I'm like trying to concentrate in here. <laughs> I am concentrating. Let's put, pull these here. There we go. Okay, just about there. Oh, I think it's coming out cute. And then, and you can wet it too. I bet you it'd be really cute if it was wet. But I'm not I'm like yeah. I'm trying to keep it simple. Oh, she's got such a cute, fat, little chubby face. Oh goodness, she's so cute. And. Let's get this little. I put these little balls in our hair and I put a bow in the back because that's what I have. And I'm trying to do a quick hairdo, so. even yeah I did so for the front part we're just going to kind of I like this better now because it while ago it was just a, just a little bit too long and honestly I could cut these shorter um, but I think these will do so here she is. There she is. What do you guys think? So here's my little pickles. I finally got her. She finally came. I am so excited. I think she is just precious. Precious. What do you guys think? Look at her. Look at the little fat face. Oh my goodness. She needs earrings, don't she? I just don't have earrings for for babies. <laughs> I am going to have to invest in some baby earrings because I just don't have them. So maybe that will be the next thing I will invest in because I'm looking at her and I'm going, she needs earrings. So maybe I'll go to Claire's this weekend and um, get some earrings so that I can pierce their ears because they're there. I have some more. I wanted to pierce their earrings as well. Their ears. I want to pierce their ears, but I don't have any earrings. So I think that I want to. Um, invest in some earrings so that I can do that. Now, what does she need? What are we missing? I think um, we're not missing anything. Whatever I was going to do, I can't remember what it was. <laughs> I just completely forgot. So, I don't know what I was thinking, but I was thinking, oh, well, pacifier. I was trying to see if I if that if that pacifier if that magnet had um oh I think my baby <sighs> it's there that's is oh there there we go so yeah it looks like the the magnet did stick but you know what I don't think those are very strong magnets I need to get some stronger magnets yeah I don't think those are very strong or maybe it may be the way it's placed too because with her her magnet yeah her it's back there
and and then again it could be the magnet it could be the magnets may not be that strong you're gonna need a one that can see it's just so far back there but anyway here she is well we definitely can't call her pickle <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes I like the names of the sculpts, so I just leave them that name. But, um, yeah, no, no, can't call her Pickle. That That's just not right. So, I don't know. She needs a name. She is precious. Look at those eyes. The little chubby face. Hmm. <laughs> So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I enjoyed making this video. She is just precious. I'm so glad I got her. Oh, she's so cute. She's so cute. She's so cute. She's a sleepy skull. She is just precious. Well, that's all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I love you guys. Toodles. Peace.